Hey, welcome in HTC family. We are glad that you are joining us today uh, for day number 30 of our 40-day fasting and prayer on the theme, Go. Uh, my name is Pastor Carl and... Hannah. And we have the honor and privilege of uh, pastoring at our Chippewa Falls campus. So we are glad that you're joining today. Welcome in as we journey through another day of Go and walking through our morning and afternoon and evening devotions. So we're glad that you've joined us whenever you join us. So let's get right into the word this morning. So we're going to start out in Luke chapter 10, uh, verses 38 through 41. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha, Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. So where we wanted to go with this was, are you going to the feet of Jesus? We can be really busy in life and we can be consumed with all the things, right? Martha in the story here is consumed with all the operations of what to, to meal plan, to prepare the house, to get everything ready for the guests and everything else. And I know that we've taught on these things before and we've walked through these avenues, but if we have a heart of Martha and it's go, 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 and busy, 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 and not able to do like what Mary did, which is going to the feet of Jesus, we miss all the opportunities of what Jesus wants to do in our lives. So, so even in that. Yeah, so the question is like, whose feet are you sitting at? Um, are you sitting at the world's feet? Are you going to the world for, for the things that you think you need? Or are you going to, I don't know. Finances or go, yeah. the stock market or the news or and and also like if you're if you are going to the feet of Jesus also like whose feet are your children sitting at mm -hmm. and to you know or grandchildren or wh whoever it is that's around you like whose feet are they sitting at are you helping lead them to Jesus feet and are are they going along with you or who else can you lead to the feet of Jesus um, so with that even like for Mary at that time she was I don't know the right word I'm thinking of, but like they, um, she was breaking cultural traditions by even going to Jesus' feet at that time to hear what he had to say. And the things that you can find when you sit at the feet of Jesus are going to be um, more than you can ever find going to, you know, whatever you're looking for in the world, like of the news or, um, I don't know. Well, I think what something. else you can find, but like, where are you, whose feet are you sitting at basically is what it goes back to. And when you go to the feet of Jesus, you're going to find comfort and peace and rest and truth. And you're going to find his voice. You're going to find his um, loving touch. You're going to find, um, you know, just everything that you need in life when you go to the feet of Jesus. And you're not going to find that anywhere else. And I know I've, I've shared this before, but in the Greek, in that context, where it says when Mary went to the feet of Jesus, it actually says as Jesus taught, he, he wrote over Mary, uh, which basically means that she had opened her heart to receive all the truth that he had for her in that moment. And it, it says that he, he authored new promises upon her heart, where he wrote into her life or wrote onto her heart the truth and the promise. So I think even in the context of, of walking through going to the feet of Jesus, are you going with the expectancy or anticipation that he's going to write truth on your heart? He's going to write promise on your heart uh, to speak new life into you because Jesus is the resurrection and life. He, he is that in all things. So are you letting him write a promise today uh, not waiting till tomorrow, not waiting till next week. I'll get my life together. No, he wants you now today to be able to write upon your heart, to be able to write truth and promise. So in all of this, remember that it's time to go to the feet of Jesus. Yeah. Spend time <laughs> at his feet. So let's, let's do that right now. Let's, let's go into a time of prayer. 
of just being at the feet of Jesus and expecting him to write on our hearts. And let's walk there together. I hear you. Amen. Okay. God, we just thank you so much. We thank you that in all times that we can enter into uh, your throne room, into your kingdom, and that you speak directly to us. So right now we just pray in Jesus' name that, that all distractions be set aside, all chaos be put to the side, and we just say, Jesus, speak to our hearts right now. Write upon our hearts truth and promise of who you say that we are and who we're called to be. For you say that we're sons and daughters, that we are chosen by your hand, that we are victorious in this day and that we are royalty because of you, Jesus. So we just give you our hearts today and we, we sit and just long for your truth and promise in our life. So we just say, Jesus, speak right now. Speak your truth. Speak your promise. And we come running to you with everything that we have. God, we just pray blessings upon each and every person. May their day be uh, amplified by your hand. We just praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So all that to say, go. Go to the feet. Go to the feet of Jesus. Have a great day. We love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And be blessed. And be, be the, the kingdom. Ch kingdom. Or church. church. Wherever you want to be. <laughs> guys, have a great day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.